Hey there everybody, Decaf here from YSFlightHeadquarters.com and today we are doing a YS Paint Scripts tutorial. Uh, we're starting off this little mini-series uh, with the Replace a Color Tool because this is a really, really powerful, really, really useful uh, tool that we have available to us with the YS Paint Scripts. So let's get into this a little bit. Um, this is my F-18D Aggressor Hornet black camouflage scheme, uh, three tank version. Uh, I have a whole Aggressor Hornet pack that I made and released uh, in early 2013 or so. And this is the black version, like I mentioned, and I also have a brown and a blue version with the exact same camouflage pattern. But uh, I have different colors on there. How, how did I do that? Well, we can go in uh, and select each individual face, go into the uh, vertex paint mode and select our colors, etc, etc, and paint things. But that is painful, that is long, that is really, really tedious, especially with fairly high detail models. So the YS Paint Script is going to save us a lot of time. So we're going to go to our script window. Uh, if you do not have your screen set up like I do, you can go ahead and take a look at my utilizing the user interface uh, video, or you can go over to this video, uh, to this button, sorry, right here, go to the script window, and you will get to a window that looks just like this guy right here. What we're going to do is hit the scripts, we're going to select a mesh, and go to replace a color. Simple enough, right? And by this graphic right here, we are saying that whatever is color number one here will turn into color number two. So we're going to select color number one as our black here, and we're going to select color number two as a delightfully neon green. And we have now the step to select where this script is going to apply. So there's two ways we can do it. We can select an individual uh, object right here and hit replace, and it'll only replace in this color, uh, sorry, in this uh, object. Or if we undo that, uh, we can select everything and apply the replace the color. But notice that these guys reverted themselves. Now, there are times when uh, if you hit undo, you will undo your color selection. So you may have to re uh, redo this a number of times. So let's do this again by selecting everything and we'll hit replace. And couple of things to note, every single place where that color appears in this model has been changed. So if I have a color on a particular decal or something like that that is the same color as my camouflage, well, it's going to get changed. Sorry about that, but that's just how the script works. Uh, as you can see here, my canopy has started to tint a little bit green. That is a function of uh, this replace a color. So be careful with this. But, you know, I think that this is actually looking really cool. Let's go ahead and uh, try some different colors here. So we will select, uh, oops, let's go sample. Let's go with this color here. And we'll turn it into a vibrant purpley pink. Replace that guy there. And, you know, it wouldn't be complete without some sort of bright yellow. Oops, <laughs> wrong one. We gotta select the color to replace first. And where was it? This yellow. There we go. Select everything. Hit replace. So here is an obscenely bright aircraft camouflage. Uh, this is just one example of the power of the script that we have available to us. Uh, one final note: if you do have things, decals. Uh, other pieces that are not uh, the color that are going to be changed, the paint script isn't going to touch them. So you may need to do a little bit of touch-up work to make things uh, work. But otherwise, this is, will save you countless hours of selecting individual faces and trying to paint them. So I hope this was useful. If you have any questions about this, you can go ahead and throw me a comment down below or send me a PM on wisefightheadquarters.com, and I'll be happy to answer any and all questions that you have. So until next time, go ahead and have fun with this. 